Keith Asubardi says that he arranged to meet the governor at 10 a.m. today. The meeting was pushed to 4 p.m. and some 20 minutes before the leader of the opposition made his way to the convent, accompanied by Damon Bosino and Roy Clinton, the chief minister confirmed on social media that the Inquiries Act is now law. Mr. Asuparadi says he wanted to inform the governor firsthand of the opposition's views on the legislation and what it could be used for. At the meeting, he gave Sir David Steele a letter that set out these views, describing the act as wrong in principle, an assault on good governance and deeply concerning. Mr. Asuparadi says it's regrettable that the bill was passed in Parliament on the single vote of the Chief Minister, a core participant in the inquiry. So we asked for this meeting yesterday after, I wanted to do so after the parliamentary session was over in deference to Parliament um, to explain and convey to His Excellency directly our concerns on the bill because the government made very clear the other day that they had consulted the governor. So we wanted to also have the opportunity to directly convey to His Excellency our concerns on the bill. I told him that this was a constitutional outrage and assault on governance. I repeated, in essence, the core points that we had made in Parliament. I gave him a letter, which I intend to publish later today, with our concerns. And we also discussed um, uh, the, the broader issues in relation to the Act. I am aware that, uh, that minutes before this uh, meeting has happened, the uh, royal assent was given to the bill. A matter for the, that is a decision for the governor. It's within his constitutional powers to exercise his judgment. Clearly, the opposition are of a very clear view that this Act is an outrage that will that is being launched as a platform to be used in the McGrail inquiry and can be misused and we will continue to point out any issues that arise in coming weeks if that happens what was the purpose of your meeting if the bill was already given that royal assent well it was always going to be our our the purpose of the meeting was to seek to directly convey those those views to the governor. Look, we had a meeting that was set into, into the diary at 10 a.m. this morning. At the request of the governor, it was postponed till 4 p.m. today. I don't know when assent took place. It seems to me strange that in the meantime, and while the meeting was in the diary, assent has been given before the courtesy of hearing us out on the issue. But look, I was never going to have an assent conversation because that is a matter for the governor within his constitutional powers. All that I was seeking with my colleagues is to point out that we think that this is a platform for abuse, that this has been launched and legislated for one specific purpose only, and to point out the defects in this governance process. In his letter to Sir David Steele, the leader of the opposition claims that there is a real sense of public outrage over the act. Mr. Asubardi goes on to say that in his 30 years in politics, he can't recall writing to a governor in such terms, but that this is a huge issue of constitutional importance with grave facts.